Hey travelers, are you paying too much for roaming fees when you travel to Mexico or even to Canada or the USA? If so, you definitely want to check out this video because I've got a way for you to save hundreds of dollars per year or even per month. So after about 18 months in lockdown from this pandemic, I decided it was time to pack my bags and head down to Mexico. And I actually ended up with about three trips uh, booked over the last part of 2021. And I knew that I needed to find a way to mitigate some of my costs. When I confirmed the rates, it was going to be $14 per day to roam and use data. So I figured there's gotta be a better solution. And I found one. I came across this company called Phonus. Um, they are, sort of like owned by a Canadian guy and based in the US. And um, they actually cater to both Canadians and Americans. And they offer unlimited talk, text, and data in Canada, the US, and Mexico, all for US 30 bucks a month. I mean, that's cheaper than most of the phone plans you can get in Canada anyways. I know in the States, you have a lot more competitive uh, mobile rates. We are jealous of you here in Canada, but even still, you might be paying a little bit more than that. So this is definitely worth investigating. And holy moly, the fact that it includes unlimited data in all three countries, that's a pretty significant savings. So the question is, was it too good to be true? Apparently not. So I ordered the SIM card that cost me $15 American and it came in the mail about a week later. I'm here in greater Vancouver on the West coast of Canada. And uh, you know, I got the card. I waited to activate it until closer to my trip departure date, which was in September. You can transfer over your existing mobile phone number to this new company, to Phonus but I would recommend that you give them a spin first, you know, just see how they work for where you live or the places you might be going. So I thought, well, I'm gonna run my two plans concurrently. So I flipped out the SIM card in my existing phone, put in the new Phonus SIM card, activated it and picked out a phone number. And that was the really cool thing. I was able to pick a local phone number from anywhere in Canada. It actually gives you a list of all the phone numbers you can choose from. So you can actually pick a number that's kind of catchy, easy to remember. You can also pick numbers that are based in certain US states. So you can always get a local number, which means it's going to be really easy for people to contact you without incurring any extra fees. So once it was activated, I basically put the SIM card in a couple of days before my trip. And then afterwards kind of left it in for a couple of days, not because it was better. It was just a habit. It was on, it was in there. Why bother changing it? When we went down to Mexico, well, the first time we went, we were in Cancun at the Sandos resort right on the strip. Then we went to Port Aventuras to dreams, Port Aventuras resort. And then we went north of Port Playa del Carmen in the Port to Morales area to the brand new Hyatt Ziva Riviera Cancun. And if you're interested in that, I will put links down below to hear about that fabulous new resort, especially if you're a foodie. So the service worked well in all of those areas with the one exception being at the Hyatt. Uh, it's a little bit more remote of an area. And because of that, I think it sort of struggled with the, um, the data service. I mean, the Wi-Fi at the resort was amazing. It was like hundred megabytes per second download speed. So, uh, hello, that was not a problem. When I was at Sandos and when I was at Dreams, I did some live streaming on YouTube with the data from Phonus. It was about an hour's worth, as well as all the uploads of all the videos that I was doing while I was down there. And it was no problem at all. Really good service. And it was actually really great for walking around the resort without worrying about the Wi-Fi signal crapping out somewhere. The service worked great. So in that respect, I would highly recommend it. Now using the phone and texting, those parts of the service are a little bit funky because you have to download the app for Phonus and you make your phone calls through the app and you text through the app. Now I was still getting my notifications to my home screen, so I wasn't missing out on anything that way. It's just a little bit of a workaround, but hey, you know what? My regular plan costs me 60 bucks a month. So right off the top, I'm saving 30 bucks a month with this new plan. And instead of paying $14 per calendar day for roaming, it's included. So for me, this weighed out easily against any added hassles of click here, click here to make a phone call. Easy peasy. You can, as I say, port over your existing mobile account and phone number to Phonus. If you don't want to do it right away, that's fine. I could choose today to port over my old number to the Phonus SIM card. That's not a problem. You can port your number at any time. So don't feel pressure that you have to make that decision right away. Like I say, give it a spin, see what you think. So if I hadn't used data for the entire well, it was actually about six weeks that I was away. That's a total of 43 days that I was abroad. And if I had 
roamed during that entire time, it would have cost me $602 Canadian. Now, realistically, was I willing to commit to paying $600 for roaming fees? No, of course I wouldn't have. I would have sucked it up and used Wi-Fi where possible. I would have been that person that sits down at a bar and before I've even ordered my first cerveza or second, I would be asking what the Wi-Fi password is. A note that with Phonus, you cannot create a hotspot. So that was kind of a pain. As I say, I wouldn't have paid 600 bucks for roaming for the whole six weeks, but let's just say I did it for half. With the Phonus plan, and now it was $30 American, with the currency exchange and everything, it adds up to about $40 $43 a month. So over the course of four months, that added up to 172 bucks extra. If I had roamed for even just half of that time, that would have cost me $301. So even with having two accounts running concurrently, I still saved 129 bucks. If you're the person who sits on the beach and stays at the resort the whole time, this is not for you. But if you're like me and you like to explore, you know, you're gonna be out and about. If you're gonna be in a taxi and you wanna know that you can check the location, make sure the driver's going in the right shortest direction, then this is probably something that you should consider. Hopefully you found this information useful and uh, maybe a way for you to save, as I say, hundreds per year or maybe even hundreds per month if you're gonna use a lot of data. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Just click on that thumb down below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos as well. And in the meantime, I told you I was staying at that brand new Hyatt Ziva Riviera Cancun. Here is a video for you to check out. Hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll see you on the next one.